Hi, this is Chelsea from So Simple Home. Uh, today's project, we are going to make a tea wallet. Um, this is actually something one of my readers requested at the beginning of the year. Um, so you have your little individualized tea packets and a tea wallet makes it so that you can um, transport those easily in a purse or a bag so that you have them, you know, to take them to work or wherever you're going when you're traveling so that you have your favorite kind of tea. Um, so uh, you can get the free pattern on our website. Just look up in the description. Um, the photo tutorial will also be there so you can follow along with that um, as well as this video. So there's uh, two pieces for this tutorial. You're going to have the a base and one of the pockets and then you're going to have a separate one that's a pocket. So I've already actually cut my pieces out here. So I chose three different materials for my base and one of my pockets and then this is my smaller pocket. So this is actually a really quick project. Um, so we're going to start out with the interior of this tea wallet. So um, these are the two larger pieces and I'm going to make my pockets first. So I'm going to take this first piece and I'm actually going to press it in half. <laughs> to make my first pocket. Okay. And then I'm going to take the second piece and do the same thing. I'm going to press it in half and it'll be my second pocket. And this is actually kind of fun because it, I cut it so that these two basically will keep my peacock there. So I'll have a pocket here and here and then I'll have a pocket and above pocket up here for my tees as well. So what we're going to do to start with is we've pressed this and we're just going to sew across the two pocket pieces. So I'm just putting them in my machine here and just stitching along that edge that I just folded. Alright, so we've had these sewn. So we're going to place the pockets the first pocket's going to kind of be in the middle and then the second pocket will be just underneath that but you want to make sure that that raw edge um, is hidden of this top pocket and then I'm just going to pin this in place here and now I'm just going to stitch across the base of this middle this middle pocket here just right across the edge That way, the tea doesn't slide out. So when I put my packet of tea in, there's somewhere it will stop. Now we'll do the same thing for the base. Put it on, maybe. And stitch across. Just press this here. Make sure everything kind of stays in place. So, two different pockets here. Alright. <coughs> now, we have some ribbon cut here. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got the sneezes. We're going to put one on the side over here. Pin them in place. And we're going to put the other one directly across from it on this side over here. And I'm going to tuck this ribbon kind of underneath here so it stays out of the way. All right. And now I'm going to put the top on. Just 
just like this. And I'm going to pin it in place. So it doesn't move on me. Just like that. And I'm gonna sew from here all the way around to here, leaving this piece open here so that I can turn my T-wallet right side up. sewn up. I'm just going to press just to make sure those stitches are in there nice and I'm going to trim my corners. Get rid of some of the bulk there. Okay and then I'm just going to turn it right side out. Just like that. And then take some sort of pencil or a little wooden dowel or something that has a little bit of a pointed edge and point those corners just like that and then again let's press it nice So now that it's turned, we're going to stitch all the way around and then we're also going to stitch down the middle. So what we'll do, so we get our stitch down the middle right, is we'll just fold this guy in half and press it. And that will help us get that middle stitch down real well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the middle stitch first and then I'll stitch around the outside. our little tea wallet so now you can put your tea wherever you like and then you can just tie it up with a fun little bow and you are set to go